The image clearly indicates that a vulture is waiting for a starving and critically ill child to die so that it can devour it. This image was captured by South African photojournalist Kevin Carter during a period of famine in 1993 in Sudan. It became so famous worldwide that Carter was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for it. The Pulitzer Prize is a prestigious award given for outstanding achievements in the fields of journalism, literature, and music composition. However, Carter couldn't cope for much longer and was unable to enjoy this accolade for an extended period. Struggling with depression, he eventually resorted to suicide, why did this happen, let's find out. Robert Hadley, the information officer for the UN Operation Lifeline Sudan had invited Kevin Carter to come down to report about the famine in southern Sudan. While working, Carter saw a little girl who was on her way to the United Nations feeding center. She was so tired, famished and had stopped to rest, while she rested on the road, a vulture had landed behind her and watched patiently. Not wanting to disturb, Carter watched from a distance and carefully positioned himself, then he took a shot of the vulture and the girl. Unknown to him, he had just captured one of the most controversial photographs in the history of photojournalism. The photograph was later sold to the New York Times and after some time, people began to call to inquire whether the child survived. They also wanted to know if the photographer had helped the poor child, the newspaper replied that the girl survived the vulture encounter but didn't know what happened after she left, the photo of the struggling girl received criticism for capturing her in a vulnerable state. People questioned Carter's ethics and his lack of immediate action to help, some found it disturbing that he left her alone. The St. Petersburg Times in Florida even likened him to a predator. The image raised complex issues of war, drought, flood, and disease. Carter admitted waiting to capture the vulture's proximity for about 20 minutes, hoping for a dramatic shot. He defended himself, stating that touching famine victims was discouraged due to disease risk. He expressed regret for not intervening but recognized limited options. Despite controversy, the photo won Carter the 1993 Pulitzer Prize for Future Photography, public response ranged from strong criticism to commendation, sparking a heated debate. In reality, when he was celebrating receiving the award, his mention was widespread across global media channels, and his fame reached its peak. Someone asked him during an interview, you took an incredible photograph, but can you tell us what happened to the child? Carter was struck by the question and responded that he couldn't stay to find out what happened because he had to catch a flight. The questioner then revealed that on that day, there were two vultures, and one of them had a camera in its hand. This incident had such a profound impact on Carter that it deepened his depression and just four months after receiving the Pulitzer Prize, Carter, aged 33, ended his life by carbon monoxide poisoning in 1994. When his body was discovered, a suicide note was attached to it. In the note, Carter had written, I'm really, really sorry. The pain of life overrides the joy to the point that joy does not exist. Carter further acknowledged that he was hunted by the memories of killings, corpses, starving children and trigger-happy policemen. Regarding the child featured in the photograph, certain sources indicate that the child was a boy, not a girl. This boy, named Kong Nyong, eventually received assistance and was brought to a UN food aid station. Tragically, Kong's father later disclosed that he passed away from fever. That wraps up today's video, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. So please share your opinions in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, until next time, take care and goodbye.